called Chef Des, and I run a cookery school down in Bournemouth on a Christchurch Road called Flavours. And today what we're going to be doing is a few little bits of entertainment. So we've got the Mayor from Bournemouth. Say hello, Mayor. Hello, Mayor. Hello. Hi. Oh, that was, you've hurt his feelings. Hello, Mayor. Fantastic. And then we've got an MP Connor, isn't it? And we've got our MP Connor here. Say hello, Connor. Hello. Fantastic. Now, these young gentlemen are going to be doing some cooking for you. And in a few moments, once they've completed their actual dish, they're going to bring it out into you, into the audience. And then you are then going to have to choose a winner. That is the price you have to pay to sit down under the sun here. All right. Um, so we've got some chocolate profiteroles. We've got some sandwiches. We've got a uh, cucumber and cream cheese. We've got an egg and cress. Then we have the sweet bits to go with it. So like the profiteroles, like I said. And then we then have to do some piping to go on top. Now, because of the heat, the chocolate buttercream that we have is a little bit soft, but any good cook can make it work. Coming close. This is it. We've got two chocolate sponges just here, all right? And inside the containers, we have some butter icing. Now, I'm not gonna do mine very professionally, just kind of going to get it on and get it done. A bit like the generation game. Do you know that? And if you know the generation game, yes. So, Anita, what do you do? Tell us about you real quick. Um, and it, it could be made up because it doesn't have to be true. You could be like, I'm a Bond girl and I was actually, in, I was in Wonder Woman, I was, a, you know, stunt double. And then you get your chocolate glaze. It is hot here, isn't it? It's really hot here. <laughs> then you get your chocolate glaze and quite simply just pour that all on the top, just like that. Yes, well, if you want to keep it, you can do. I don't know if it's. And then just very gently push the chocolate just to go down the actual size to cover your cake. And the trick to this is actually just to do it in kind of waves. Do you see that, Matt? So you just do it in waves, going back and forth, and that builds up enough momentum to then push it so it goes around. If you then have to, you can then just take your palette knife and then just go around the edges like that. Okay? And if you're really desperate, you can pick it up, take that out and then put it back on top if you're really desperate. But you won't be. So, we'll give it one more final wave like so. Then, we have some white chocolate. Just cut off the very end of the white chocolate and make sure it comes out well. And then start off in the centre and then go around to create a spiral. Now, do you see how my whole body's moving? That's the tip to that. So not just your arms, if you move your whole body, that will make it really, really lovely and easy. Then you've got a little cocktail stick here, and quite simply, go out, come in, and this is called feathering. All right, so you're just gonna give it a feather, and it's a really quick cake in the way of designing it really quickly. There's a plate over there. This is the hardest part probably, and that is just picking it up and then transferring it to your plate. Round of applause! Right. Uh, so we're going to be doing some pasta. And it is a competition. You are literally going to have about 15 minutes to complete the dish. We're going to do the pasta um, from scratch, rolling it out, throwing it through the pasta machine, cutting it into tagatelli, getting it into some boiling water. And then in the meantime, we're going to be making a marinara sauce, which has four ingredients, tomato, garlic, basil, and olive oil. All right? then you will be judged. And what I mean by judged is we will then take it out into the audience and then they will choose which one of you is the winner. And uh, the I am winner... I to pay. 
the winner, uh, well, the loser has to buy the winner dinner or a drink. A drink. A drink. Okay, drink cheaper. NHS. Um, okay, so look, just quickly introduce yourself to everybody. Tell them who you are, what you do. Expectations for pasta. Being Jamaican, pasta's not one of the things that we eat a lot of. We're more rice and potatoes people. Um, so, you roll that out as thin as you can. Then, you set your pasta machine. You want to put that on there. And then you literally roll the pasta all the way through, like that. And then you want to do that till about number four. All right, so that's number two. Sorry, chef, going that way. Okay, and you've got to keep going, and that gets the pasta super thin. Thin pasta is the way to go. Now, a lot of people love pasta. It's one of their staple food ingredients, if you will, or dishes. And but they don't tend to make it fresh, just as we're doing here. So this is literally just showing you how to do it. Once it's on the go, just roll that through. Yeah, you, can you hold that for me, Chef? That's it. I'll catch you in the middle. Boom. Okay, so then once that's done, you can lay that flat on your table. Now, that's going to be a bit of a challenge because you have to share the same table. All right? Put it, you can hold that for me. And then just very gently cut that in half. Throw some flour on top, that stops it from sticking. Uh, you're just gonna throw any tidbits away that you don't want, all right? That's it. So I now have four sheets. And cut that again into half. A little bit more flour. The flour really does stop it from sticking. And then we're just going to roll it. All right? And once you've rolled it, <laughs> you then want to cut it into your tagatelli pieces. Just like that. Okay? And the <laughs> it won't, it, 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 it's very easy. And we're all here to laugh at you. That's, that, that's what we actually really want. We just, we want laughter and entertainment. So, then the pasta goes on. That's your tagatelli there. Then you want to transport it up. Okay, into some boiling water. Then we have to make a sauce. How are we doing on time? We're doing good. So I've got two minutes left to complete this. As the pan is heating up, that's going to give us a head start. Take the beautiful sliced garlic, throw that in the pan. We're then going to throw in some oil. Okay? Give that a swirl. Make sure you put the wok in the middle of the actual stove. This is coming up to the boil, that won't be long. And then we're going to pluck some basil leaves. It's all about the sexy, fragrant basil leaves. Now, in your job, comes to their cooking, which really helped, especially coming from a French environment where everything was kind of left, right, left, right, do it like this. So anyway, after that, went off to Australia for a year, did some cooking. Um, then came back, went back to Mezzo's again, did another year, and then went flew in out to uh, New Zealand via Bangkok, Indonesia, Bali, all while I was kind of picking up food dishes. And so the nasi goran dish that we're doing is one of these dishes that I picked up along the way. Wow, you were really going for it, girl. That's amazing. Okay. Garlic. Garlic. Your garlic still some.